what is going on you guys my name is rage and we are back today with a black cat legendary preparation video here uh, especially with the event coming back now for the second time tomorrow um there have been some uh, slight changes to the teams that have come about since the last time we've done this so i wanted to make a quick a uh, little revisit here but as well as an overview of what happened um and some of the uh some of the teams i utilize maybe i can give you guys a sense of how to prepare for this event uh apologies as i just got back from vacation i would have loved to give you guys more uh, information but thankfully um you know i love the fact that you know the videos i've made is an archive so i'll definitely be linking some stuff below for your guys's reference um lots of footage to go through for sure but as well again guys this is a recap as well as updates um for your team especially now we know um obviously uh black cat being as powerful as she is being in the meta a high highly um you know coveted character in the game one of the best legendaries outside of the horseman teams and as well a dark dimension six lock character especially with her having value in her utility and being a skill character um which is a really good resource to utilize when you're you know strapped for resources and materials in the dark dimension six push so let's get right to it guys first and foremost um the full pack breakdown again um the, the packs i utilize anyways for difficulty eight was a total of 105 i do plan on uh going beyond that this time just because most of my teams have gotten higher that landed me about 1.6 million in a run score now having said that guys um if you want to see the full um breakdown of all the different packs that i utilize i'm gonna link that to, uh, below in the description um just because i didn't want to spend too much time going over that when we've already made a video on that but again i think the big one to point out obviously is um this world at war here it adds a significant amount of points to the run score and as well um if you are planning to use nowhere team for this unlock um ultimately um getting the uh, the black cat shards here uh, this is what really makes them and puts them over the top especially making them a war viable team for this pack they basically get their full benefits of the war setting as if they were operating a war so huge huge um buff right there uh, that can basically um you know make your nowhere team um be put on steroids here to push through it and easily make some of the hardest nodes a cakewalk so just something to be mindful of guys if you guys are planning to bring that team up but obviously we'll talk about options as well um yeah that's the, the pack breakdown so again i'm gonna link that below and now we're gonna be going through each of the notes the teams that work for myself and again this isn't difficulty eight guys so my apologies if this is a little bit higher ranking than what you're used to but keep in mind too um you can scale this down those similar packs and settings and teams this should work on a lower difficulty level um you may not have the same level of teams as me but these synergies should ideally still work mission number one um no traits or restrictions required so uh this one's a pretty much a cakewalk honestly just throw in some of your best characters and teams um so i brought in characters like Val that can revive um i brought in kang for damage spider weaver has good um you know uh crowd controlling aspects as well as building up charges and, and honestly just a really strong all-around character you likely may have many of these characters built up because they're all in the meta and then um captain america and black widow they were already dark dimension six viable characters for myself so i just figured no harm no foul why not bring in the best of the best right uh but you shouldn't have any issues with this node we're gonna skip um the notes two a six and ten just because i want to leave that for the last here for discussion so that leaves now notes three and seven being the mystic villain note so as you guys can see here no issues whatsoever um I will have to point out though that Morgan Le Fay and Doctor Doom are truly the MVPs of these nodes because they're utilized in this um these specific two nodes and as well as the global controller that you'll see later on so you're going to be using you're going to get be getting an immense amount of usage and value from dr doom and morgan lafay so even if you guys don't have them built up right now i would highly highly recommend it for this event they're going to be used across the board and easily the staples that you want to utilize so having said that um the the folks that rounded out the rest of my team were obviously you know good um surrounding cast right we have agatha harkness with the dark code if you're building up um, and going for the unlock of apocalypse you likely will have her built up uh, dr strange heartless has great synergy with the dark code and then dormammu provide, uh, provided some much needed um you know a crowd controlling aspect of the stun as well giving the team a revive which is really nice so they had no issues going through this note but again guys i cannot stress enough the importance of morgan Le Fay and dr doom um do not hold back on investing in them just because they're really strong additions here um and again they easily got the job done for these notes next up we have nodes four and eight um being the global controller in my honest opinion i think these two nodes are likely a it basically the the pseudo bottleneck if you do not have the required team traits um such as nowhere or sinister six right just because there's always that 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 certain hard um you know ceiling that you want to overreach and and it seems to be the case here for missions four and eight um especially needing some of these stranger uh traits uh being called the global controller for, for myself personally um i found that with mission four specifically you did need some sack attempts so um i just threw in some random characters uh as you can see this astonishing x-men mix 
Phoenix with Uncanny. Um, they obviously were only there to soak up damage. They didn't do the job because I do believe there, there wasn't enough, enough attacks made. So then I had to throw in another attack to soak up damage. And finally, the actual A team I utilized was Black Widow, Omega Red, Scarlet Witch for some additional healing and support. Uh, we got Morgan Le Fay and then Dr. Doom. And that's pretty much my A team that I utilized to uh, clean up, right? Um, it, it was not a bad note after those initial attacks were made. I think we were up against a character like Quicksilver or something. Like, sorry, I just, it's uh, it's not um, on the top of my head right now, but I knew there were some attacks that we need to get rid of and they were able to get the job done there. And then next up, um, this same team can get the job done actually in uh, Node eight as well and no issues that one doesn't need any sack but yeah just something to be mindful of guys um missions four is probably the one you might need a sacrifice uh team to throw in and just soak up those attacks it does make it a lot smoother so that way your main team is not taking the brunt end of it and then uh, we got notes five and nine here, guys, being Brawler. Pretty easy and straightforward. Um, with every legendary event, there's always those nodes where when you do unlock a legendary, you can utilize them in those said nodes. And having said that, that would be this one, right? Brawler. Black Cat is considered a Brawler character. So if you bring her up now, the, I guess the, the change and update here now would be if you have a stronger Black Cat than before, um, she's going to add some immense value. These are the teams that still got the job done for me personally, just because they're all part of the meta. Um, you know, Shang-Chi was kind of interesting because I was in that in-between of, of bringing him higher for Dark Dimension 6. Obviously, if you guys have followed my videos, I did, uh, you know, pull the trigger on that. So this is going to be easier for myself. But I found that the MVPs for this was definitely Val and Red Hulk just doing a lot of, um, you know, damage and, and supportive capabilities for the team, the ability block. Um, and for the second team, I did bring in actually um, Infinity War Thor just because I wanted to build up some of his attacks um, for the final mission 10. So I, I, that was my logic there. So you may not have to follow it if you're really good at managing your cooldown, but I found that helped myself. So that's kind of what worked. And then Miss Marvel, Deathpool, they're really there just to provide some additional support and damage, but um, not deal breakers by any means because these nodes were definitely uh, easier than the ones I mentioned before with um, um, those global controller and Mystic Villain. Which now leads uh, notes two, six, and ten. Uh, basically, the required traits uh, being nowhere or sinners or six guys. So as you can see, I can only screenshot mission two and six because those were the only visuals I had before I finally attempted the final and last attack on note ten, which obviously got the job done because I was able to unlock. What you see on the bottom here is actually my team as well, guys. So um, for context, um, this is what's the beautiful thing about about having um, such a good. Uh, an efficient team is that if you guys are planning to bring this team up or not planning to bring this up and you're thinking about it well good news for you you don't need a strong nowhere team to get the job done so you can see here um and this is why i love showcasing this in my past videos so that way i do have this as a record only 770k tcp and that landed me a 1.6 million score in difficulty eight uh fully clearing all the nodes i had three characters at gear tier 16 and that was nova star lord annihilation and thor infinity war which left cosmo and korg being the gear tier 15 and 14 respectively that team was able to get the job done guys now having said that um the one big thing that's different now since this event was run was the unlock and release of green goblin and his sinister six rework which i think is going to be kind of an x factor um personally guys i don't have sinister six superior six built up just yet but they are a team that i'm going to be slowly building up to see how this does because um if we can get them to similar power levels um to the 700 and k and they can get the job done similarly that'll be very very interesting right um personally um, I still don't think they're going to be performing as well and as efficiently as Nowhere because this this event was really made for Nowhere to um, to really thrive and succeed. And again, um, usually those said uh, teams um, generally have certain disadvantages against them. And that's kind of why it, and how it was designed, right? Now, now, I'm not saying Sinister 6 or Superior 6 won't be able to get the job done. However, I, I'm just not feeling confident that a 770 you know sinister 16 can do the same as his nowhere team um just because the one thing that's different about this team is that nova provides an immense amount of support i mean um the the the, the environmental effect that he has uh, with his benefits on um, providing to the team being able to cleanse and barrier i think that's something that sinister six definitely is lacking um the, now that's not to say though we're going to do some testing and see how that does obviously but again uh, my team isn't built up right now i think my sinister six team is you know, only about two or three hundred K. So it, it needs quite a bit of work, right? But if you guys were able to bring in a very big Sinister Six team already, um, for especially the unlock here of Green Goblin when you had to go through it, I think that's definitely a strong option to consider because they were utilized essentially for the, I believe that city villain section, right? So that's pretty big. Um, just something to be mindful of, guys. If you guys have easily like a one million plus Sinister Six team, 
definitely a, a good considerable option right now to try out for these notes before you invest in a team like nowhere if you haven't built up but yeah just my two cents guys um that's why i think personally right now is a game plan but this this definitely changes things right i love the fact that they reworked it because now it does give players agency and a little bit of more control for sure so there you guys have it um that's a quick recap of what was able to get me and land me the 1.6 million guys so i'll obviously keep you up to date if there's any big discoveries that i make but hopefully good luck in your guys's run this event does start tomorrow at reset so uh good luck in your guys's shards and obviously capitalizing as much as you can on black cat um one of the best legendary characters in the game right now like i said guys a dark dimension six lock and i'll link everything below if you guys need to reference it but as always appreciate your time and following and thank you i'll catch you guys in the next one